I might be the first person in the world to ever buy a product at Panini Dutch Auction at floor, which was $212 a box. Hey, that's pretty good. And at ceiling, which was $400 a box. Why would they do that? Get some sleep before those first off the line auctions. Otherwise you might misclick your way into a, into a ceiling purchase. Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? RGL coming at you with a brand new video and that is right. I accidentally bought this one at ceiling, but I also caught one at floor and I caught one in between. And this is a product that I really, really liked. So, um, hey, I made a misclick and it happens. I guess this one was a little pricey. This one was a lot pricey. Kind of immediately regretted it. What an idiot. <laughs> Nothing you can do because it is a Dutch auction, of course. But today we are ripping two of the $400. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to label this case as the $400 per box case of Donruss. Clearly, this one was sold at Dutch Auction just a couple weeks back and started at $400. It eventually sold out at $212. Fun little note about this one. There was only 107 possible cases. 106 possible cases of first off the line Donruss clearly made. Each of the first off the line boxes either has a pink number to 10, a techno number to 6, or a black spider 101. That means there are only 1,700 first off the line parallels floating around out there, and it is a 16 box case. You do the math, there can be no more than six, 106 first off the line cases of this product. We are also going to get one exclusive first off the line autograph to uh, 16 or less, I believe, as well. So this one for first off the line is a great buy in my opinion, especially if you were able to get in at that 212 mark or really any price point under 250 on this one. Pre-sale of Hobby currently selling for about a little under 200, 150 maybe you might be able to find it some places, but I expect 175 is going to be about the average. And this is a juiced up product. Now it is on that acetate stock, which is very, very divisive in the hobby. Some people like the acetate cards. Some people do not like them. Uh, they've been back for a few years now. But look at this. Look at this checklist. It includes downtowns. Everybody loves downtowns. Gridiron marvels, night moves, and nuclear case hits. So four different case hits to be found in clearly. And yes, because this is a set that mirrors Don Russ, we know that Brock Purdy was in Don Russ. So Brock Purdy will be in clearly as well. We're going to check out a couple boxes today. And uh, yeah, it is going to be a good day here on the channel. I'm excited for this one. If you are excited, go ahead and hit that like button. And as always, I do appreciate a subscribe. If you're new here, this one's going to be fun. We are going to get 20 cards per box only. So five cards per pack, four packs per box. Turn it over on the back. There is everything. You can see hollow platinum 101s. And then a bunch of goodies down there on the bottom of the checklist. All those case hits. And uh, yes, you can see Gridiron Marvel's hollow. Is there actually a downtown hollow? I'm curious. See if I can find where the downtown is quickly. I don't want to take up too much time. Yeah, I'm not seeing the down. There it is right there. Downtown hollow platinum 101. So those are going to be the huge chase in this product. You hit one of those and you get paid. But we're going to check out two boxes today. Each box will have one exclusive first off the line parallel. Number two, uh, 16 or less. And then uh, also one autograph number to 16 or less. Kicking things off, that is your look. It is on the acetate stock. Some people like it. Some people hate it. Kind of impartial. Uh, I'm neither. I like it. You know, it's it's not bad. It's it's not. It doesn't blow me away. It's not super special. They're kind of cool, but they've kind of lost their novelty. This is now the third year of Panini really, really pushing these hard and uh, doing uh, doing the acetate cards. I think we first saw them in Chronicles Football 2020. Actually, I think that was the first time we saw them. Uh, we've got George Pickens, and there's Bailey Zappi. We'll take that. I don't know. Is it going to be Bailey, or Z Bailey Zappi or Mac Jones? Actually got three rookies there. One was on a gold, though. One was a gold parallel. Let me know what you guys think. Is Mac Jones the starter still in New England, or is Zappi going to come in there? I've heard rumors they might trade Mac, which seems crazy. Ooh, we got something. I think that is going to be a hollow pink number to 10. I think that's going to be number to 10. Uh, there's Russell Wilson. There's Ryan Tannehill. 
course that's gonna be is that our pink right there that is trey mcbride is our pink first off the line i i never run good on these first off the line exclusives do i the price is wrong i said that and then like three weeks ago i hit a jade and ivy red shimmer auto to five so I, I still don't think i'm allowed to complain because of that hit there's my dude kenneth walker and uh also Tyrion davis price so shorter rip today only 20 cards per pack and uh or 20 cards per box and yeah we are gonna be ripping two boxes today otherwise we'd be out of here in about four minutes uh dk i think our auto might be here i think this might be our auto and again it looks like a rookie pink uh there's quay walker on the rookie also jahan dotson Auto coming on up. I hope it's good. DK. Jamar Chase and our auto. Give a zappy. We've got a Pierre Strong on the auto to 10. 4 of 10. And I'm seeing the player. I thought I saw a scratch on that one. Of course, with these cards being acetate, they are very prone to scratching. And uh, very hard to grade as well. So if you buy some hobby or you were fortunate enough to get some first off the line. And you're considering grading these. Take a very, very good look with a magnifying glass because acetate cards are very, very condition sensitive. Very tough to gem out. At least in my experience. I'm sure somebody in the comments will be like, but I gemmed them. I, I went 9 for 10 on gem. You know, there's always one person in the comment section. Arr, a lot of scumbags out today. Uh, but my experience grading acetate cards over the years has uh, not been good. Uh, Stefan Diggs. Zach Wilson, I like this next card. We have a Tom Brady highlights. It's kind of a strange place to put the text, though. I I, I know that's just a mirror of the Don Russ card, but that's kind of a strange one to to put the text on that side on that clear. It's a little strange. Kind of cool though. Probably my favorite card in the box. Uh, we have a Sam Howell rookie and also a Rashad White. Second Rashad White. So in a 20 card box, we were somehow able to manage to get two Rashad Whites. Sam Hell on the Commanders right there. And uh, here we go, box number two. Hopefully this box is a little bit better because that first box, as much as I like this product, that first box was definitely rough. Definitely, definitely rough. So box two, need a little good luck here. Need a little luck on our side. We're looking for a Brock Purdy or a Kenny Pickett or a downtown. Uh, I think our second first off the line exclusive is here. And what do you know? It is also going to be a pink to 10. Couldn't get one of the Technos to six or a Spider 101. Taekwon Thornton and Trey McBride. Again, it's always Trey McBride, isn't it? We've got Dak Prescott, uh, Najee Harris, and our, to ten, our rated rookie to 10. Hey, there we go. There we go. We were hoping to see him in the last box, but now we got a Bailey Zappy to 10. It's always funny when you like pose a question, you know, a serious question. You know, hey, what do you guys think, Bailey Zappy or Mac Jones? And then the player reoccurs later on in the video. It's almost like we set it up, right? It's almost like we planned it. How does he do that? Bailey Zappi to 10. 3 of 10. I think that's one off his jersey number. I think his jersey number is 4. 3 of 10 on the Bailey Zappi. This box is already significantly better than our last box. And uh, I think our first off the line exclusive auto is in here too. So hey, let's save the auto. Let's save the auto. In the words of Shy City Pools, we'll marinate it. Maybe we'll see a downtown or something crazy along the way. Or a ca any case, it would be nice. Uh, Mark Andrews, Travis Kelsey. Mark Andrews again. It's a 100-card set, and we saw the same guy twice in the same pack. Uh, Brian Robinson Jr. on the rated rookie. And Jermaine Johnson as well. All right. Last pack before we check our auto. If you're sick of this design, you know, if you got your fill of Don Russ and now there's clearly... Unfortunately, I have some bad news to tell you, and that is that this design will continue onward into... Uh, will continue onward into Optic, which should be out in about, I don't know, four to six weeks or so. There's Eckler. I see something shiny in this pack. I see some rated rookie logos flashing at me. There's Mac, too. It's almost like we set it up. Uh, we have Chris Godwin, and this one's pretty cool. This is a short print. Got that. They've been doing this lately. They did this in some contenders with that very, very cool um, rated rookie logo on it. They've been doing that kind of this kind of parallel where you can only see it in uh, certain when it reflects a certain way off the light. And I like those kind of parallels. It's very easy to miss something like that. Or you'd be looking through dollar boxes and and not pick up on it being like being like that. And of course, it's more than a buck, but it's kind of cool. 
I, I like I like those parallels. Chris Olave and Jordan Davies. All right, our final auto of the day. I want to thank you for joining me today. A little bit shorter of a video as we check out some Donruss clearly today. Be back tomorrow with a... What are we ripping tomorrow? I think we're ripping archives tomorrow. Our new archives of baseball. David Bell and John Mechie. There's going to be DJ Moore. Alvin Kamara and our auto. I'm seeing... Com I thought I saw the Commander's logo. I did. So we're looking for Sam Howell. But we're going to have to settle today for Brian Robinson. And that is a 1 of 10. Brian Robinson. That is definitely not the worst Commander's rookie to get in the set. I think that would be Fedarian Mathis who would be the worst. But uh, hey, not too bad. Much, much better box. Brian Robinson Jr. to 10. Also a Bailey Zappi in that one. And a Damian Pierce short print. And then the first box, we did also have the Pierce Strong Auto. And the Trey McBride. And another Bailey Zappi. So I would say I do think that we got two of the weaker boxes. There's only 1,600 or 1,700 boxes out there. And of those 17, I think we got two of the, the worst ones. Uh, we did not get any Technos number to six. We didn't get any Black Spider one of ones. No downtowns, no case hits. This is still a product that I think is pretty juiced up at the price point, especially with Hobby being under $200. Uh, and the downtowns are going to be a big chase. Night moves are still pretty cool too. The nuclear case hit, I believe, is going to be uh, exclusive just to clear. Um, so there are some of the some of the case hits that do mirror Don Russ and do mirror Optic. Um, you know, there's I, I, there's effectively now three products that have the downtowns with Don Russ, clearly, and Optic. So um, yeah, maybe these downtowns in the grand scheme of things won't hold their value compared to the Optic downtowns that are going to come out in a few weeks. But for under two hundred dollars a box to be able to hit this, uh, you know, one on ones to be able to chase after rookie autos to be able to chase after four different. Uh, four different case hits that's some pretty solid value in my book that's why i like this product this year in years past this product was just too expensive of a price point didn't really make sense even though i opened it uh now with product prices coming down uh significantly i like this one at this price point if it goes any lower even more but but i think that it's going to stay above 150 for the time being and this is a product I don't think they make a ton of it anyways, especially with first off the line only 1,700 boxes, less than 100, uh, 106 cases. Uh, hobby, I would have to imagine there probably won't be a ton of it floating around out there either. That's going to do it for me. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of clearly. Did you rip any this past week, this past Friday on release day? Are you going to get any breaks or do you plan on have a ripping some this week? Let me know what you think. That's going to do it for me. Take care. Stay safe. We'll catch you next time on Down the Road.